Good afternoon. I'm Brent Whistler from Merit Solutions in Wheaton, Illinois. We're a Microsoft certified gold partner specializing in AX and GP consulting and development services. Today I'm going to do a short Enterprise Portal demo for you. Enterprise Portal is the SharePoint based portal for AX 2009. Here I am in the role center for the, the person that I'm currently logged in as, who is the CFO of Contoso, the demo company for AX2009. I'm not going to focus too much today on the role center. What I actually want to do is show you how you can uh, leverage information in AX and present it to your customer. The enterprise portal is a perfect vehicle for business-to-business -business transactions and we're going to show you how to give our customers access to their information. So I'm going to flip back over to AX2009. Let's go to administration and I'll show you the user that I set up. I set up Brent Whistler. Hey, that's my name too. Um, the important part of setting up this account to uh, identify it as a customer and give him access to his information on the web is here in user relations. So we've flagged this as an external user which means he's going to be accessing the system via the web and that he's not an employee and he's a customer with Barry Conference Center and that he relates to this contact ID that we already set up in AX. I'm going to close out of this and I already set up those relationships previously. Uh, one more thing I want to show you here is that this customer is a member of the EP underscore cust customer group. What that means is that he's a customer that we're giving access to their enterprise portal to. So um, you won't have to go into SharePoint administration and set any of this information up. He'll, all, he'll automatically be given access to the enterprise portal because I set him up here in AX. So I'm going to close out of the user setup here and I'm going to show you what this means. Microsoft has given us a role right out of the box with AX2009 um, with some commonly used information items that a customer might need. Um, so let's just go some, through some of what's available. Remembering that we could customize this, we could build more components um, using the application integration framework, but maybe we don't even need to because this information here is pretty robust. You'll see I've given access to um, certain of our catalog items to the customer. His, he's a conference center. He calls Contoso um, for audiovisual components. And so right here, not only can he see information, but uh, he can also go ahead and order go ahead and order 20 DVD players. Alright, and let's go ahead and check out and see what that, um, I had already previously added 22 of item number 1402 to my cart, and um, now I've come back in and ordered 20 of our DVD player, so now I'm going to check out which, what this is going to do is, um, I'm going to leave this information defaulted. And what we're doing here really under the covers is creating a sales order. And here's our confirmation number, S01012294. I'll bet you now if I go into accounts receivable in AX as the customer service person, I'm going to see a new order. Here it is. Okay, great. We've uh, let our customer do some of our work for us, but we're not going to tell the customer that. We're going to tell the customer that we're servicing them better. Let's go back and look and see what else we can do. Um, now if I had certain promotions for a customer, um, if I had set up a campaign through CRM for certain 
items. I could see those here, and I believe I might have a few. Yeah, there's certain, uh, looks like for the standard speakers category, we have a promotion going with this customer. Um, if we had service subscriptions or agreements, with our customer service orders, we'd see them here. I know that I don't though, so we won't show you those. Um, I can see a list of all my purchase orders that are open. This depends on customer setup too. Um, I might choose to only let my customers see their web orders, or I might let them see all open orders. So you better have make sure you know those uh, those customer service agents are being nice in their order comments. Um, let's go to account information. And uh, now as the customer I can see what Contoso thinks my information is. And we already saw previously that I had the chance to change my contact information for a sales order. But that might have prompted me to go ahead and edit my account information because I noticed that the address was wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and save some changes to my customer account information. And once again, in AX, we have full control over this. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to give your customers control over the information because they might get it wrong. But in this case, we trust this customer. So let us go back into the customer details for Barry Conference Center and now I see that change has taken place for um, their primary address is now 122 Corporate Street. So we're giving access to our customer with just enough information that he needs to facilitate his relationship with us. And that's the power of AX2009 Enterprise Portal Business to Business. Thanks for attending my demo. If you would like to reach Merit Solutions, give us a call at 630-614-7133 or visit us on the web at www.meritsolutions.com.